testing microphone one two and two one two and two hey guys welcome back to my channel this is austin code cipher back again with another video on web development so in today's video we are going to be looking at the popovers and we are going to be creating these using bootstrap 4 or bootstrap full stop so before you take such actions i would like to show you what a popover looks like when a user clicks an element such alert or like a popover will appear so these are similar like to tooltips and by the way if you have not yet watched my video on tooltips make sure you click the link in the description below that's the video taking you to the tooltips and how you can create them and if i'm to give you some brief introduction about popovers popover are similar to tooltips as you will see in the other video which i've linked in the description below they are similar just that popovers contain more content than the tooltip so the popovers a header where you are seeing austin code cipher and the body where you see the information in that popover so if you are into this kind of video make sure i stick around and i show you the code and by the way for a popover even if you go to other parts of the page and click a popover will always be there until you go back and create and click on that element so that's it guys for the brief introduction stick around and get straight into the code so as you can see this is my document and i have linked bootstrap the version is four here other jquery the other libraries cdn libraries and if you don't have these links let me show you the website you should go to there is w3 schools so on the left hand side when you're on their home page you say you see are you seeing where my cursor is learn bootstrap for make sure i click there go to start learning now and when you're on this page click down slope down and you will see the different cdns whoa uh here are they here they are so you have to copy all these and paste them in your head section so without few words let's go straight into the, the code and recreate our popovers let's save this and wait when we go back on our page such stuff will disappear so i had zoomed in for you guys to see it properly but in real sense this is supposed to be at a hundred percent but to display it easily i will zoom in from this side now let's first by start by creating a button So this is the button and I'll put subscribe. Save to view it in our browser. And as you can see, this is the button. It's not styled, it's something sketchy. So to add style to it, we shall give it a class. Since we are dealing with bootstrap, I'm going to give it btn btn and i'm going to call this danger to give it some color red are you seeing this so that's bootstrap you take shortcuts to create something fantastic without you writing any css you just need to include its classes so styling is done now let us add the real attributes that will take action. Now here we write data. Data. Well, so data dash togo. And we say equals popover. Whoa, <laughs> what's wrong with my SPs? Popover. So with this after writing this you need to initiate jquery 
since here we already having our cdns that are linking to jquery we just need to create our custom jquery here we shall write some script tag script tag then we initiate jquery by writing the dollar sign and we say document so we are telling the browser to not load the doc to not load the code until the document is ready so it dot ready and we pass anonymous function open curly brackets tab to the next line and end it with a semicolon to terminate it so whatever we are going to write here is going to be accessing this attribute the togo the data dash togo popover then we say dollar sign open brackets then we call this this attribute we open this brackets Chi. hey guys i'm back somebody had called me so after writing this attribute the one you gave to the element right now it's the button then we set it to a method called popover popover so we pass it to that method now secondly now we need to write the title the one which will be represented as the header you say title and we gave this Austin code so you can write anything you want there so this is user defined you can write anything that you want to be like to act as the header of the popover so my header will be Austin code cipher now there is data content dash content now this is what will be appearing in the body section as i said hey if you like this video if you like if you like this video subscribe and save that when we load in our browser and i click here so Austin code cipher will act as the header and the data content will act as the body as you can see Austin code cipher has that light gray color and the body has white background so hey if you like this video subscribe now as i told you this popover will not go away even if you go to any part of the web page until you come back and place the element and it goes back so that's the popover let me give you another attribute there is what we call the data position a data placement sorry still it will be giving the popover a position where to be either the bottom either the top left hand side right hand side so data placement and we shall set up when you save that and go back to our web page and you click here it will be at the top hey if you like this video subscribe and the header will be austin code cipher so you can play with the placement in case you want it at the bottom save that and it will appear at the bottom you can do right by default it's always on the right so you can play around with left right top so that's it guys if you learned something in this video please go ahead subscribe to the channel as always make sure i hit that red button it's either on the right hand side or after watching my channel intro and you click this subscribe button so thanks for watching guys if you want to be my friend make sure you follow me up on facebook uh, Tim Austin or Austin Code Cipher. That's it, guys, for today. The popover testing one, two, one, two. Click, 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 click. Next time, make sure you subscribe if you like this video. Peace.